call to order the Arlington Redevelopment Board meeting of Monday, April 27, 2015. Uh, on the agenda this evening, as we prepare for town meeting, we have a uh, discussion of town meeting Article 46 presentation and discussing the zoning articles that uh, are also on the town meeting warrant. So, Carol, if you would pass out the slides. Sure. These are the slides as I think, I think we're... Set. Yeah, that was the last one, yeah. Yeah, yeah we incorporated the changes from the last time the board reviewed them uh, when the Master Plan Advisory Committee was here. And uh, one thing in particular you recall, I believe it was what was then slide 12, I think it's now slide 4. We wanted to... No, that's not slide 4. We wanted to take the suggestion of trying to make the dates of some of the public uh, engagement events and workshops. I think it's slide 10. Thank you, it is, yeah. We wanted to try to make them more like graphic design elements rather than yeah. text. And we did try it with different fonts and um, having it a different uh, contrast so that it's a little more from the background and more of a graphic element than text. But it just, uh, Charlie Palaskis, the chair of the National Plan Advisory Committee, and Andrew and I thought it looked too sharply distinct from the rest of the yeah. slides. So we reverted back to this. Um, I intended to bring an example to show the board, but. I think this looks good. I mean, yeah, I mean good. you've got down there over 140 public gatherings, and you've just got a couple of them up there. Or, yeah. You know, a couple right. of the key ones, but a couple of them on the ones. will show a lot of the people who are involved. Yeah. And I timed this out once. I don't know if you timed it out yourself out loud. Not yet. It came in under seven minutes. Yeah. So. Right. That's good. Yeah, it does look like it should. 30. So yeah. the script is right there for you to read. Now, this isn't going to come up tonight. We, we know that. Mm -hmm. So we, you've got time to get really comfortable with the text. And, um, <laughs> that I'm working on, making okay. changes here and there. But yeah. So this is a, this will come up last, obviously, unless they dramatically change the order of um, the warrant articles. and. It's a selectman's warrant article, but then of course you'll be at the podium. Uh, Charlie Koloskis and Carol Svensson and I will be in the front row, mm -hmm. the trust in the front row. Um, and we we're pretty sure that Judy Barrett will be available if any it's technical myself. questions come up. And I believe we have to ask a town meeting member. Do we have to ask a town meeting member to um, have the chair of the ARB do the presentation? Um, no, I don't think so. But let's we should check with the moderator to see how okay. he wants to handle it. But it shouldn't. It, you shouldn't have to. Um, um, well, let's talk to John. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how he want to handle that. You, you know. Uh, I mean, you can get on the list as an official anyway, right? I, I think, think so. Yeah, yeah, I think you can. Okay. So, so you just get on the list as first. Just tell them ahead of time. There were precinct meetings this weekend, and I understand that uh, a question arose at one of the meetings whether a town meeting member can amend the plan. And the town moderator thought that if it came up, that he'd have to hear it. But I'm pretty sure that town council has since then had a conversation with town moderator explaining that the what they could amend is the vote, resolution, the resolution language. Um, be that as it may, we do want to make sure that town meeting members understand that this can this is a master plan that is clearly intended to have some updates. Master plans are typically updated every five years, um, so there is an opportunity. There will be opportunities, but you've got. But that through the same process, though. That's through that's a similar process. We would have to have public. You've got that process. in here, don't you? That, there, that, that exact language is in here. I remembered it from yeah. the last meeting. So, so he's covering it. And it's hard to know what will come up. There's a master plan on everyone, every town meeting member's chair in the auditorium right tonight? now. Tonight, okay. Tonight, wow. And that's yeah. the full 
a uh, full plan. Yeah, must have been uh, you've been helping in printing. It was a big job, but we got a very good price, and in fact, we ran out. There ran are out, ran out ran out of copies. We thought we had ordered uh, sufficient quantity. They have extras um, for uh, different committees. I think the implementation committee is going to need copies, but uh, we're going to order some more. We also, when you get up, oh, let me back up. During the beginning of the meeting, when the moderator asks if there are reports, we're going to ask if Andrew can get up. Um, I already talked to John about this, so that he can say the Arlington Master Plan, it was uh, provided to each town meeting member this evening, uh, and it's relevant to the last article in Warrant, Article 46. Please take an opportunity to familiarize yourself with it. If you don't want a copy by the end of town meeting, there are boxes here tonight and boxes. We intended to do this anyway before yeah, yeah, yeah. we ran out just because we don't want people to recycle it. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Sure. Yeah. 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 So there are, We're happy to get the copy back. Yeah, we yeah. do the same thing with the town report. Yep. So there will be a box at the back of the hall and two near the redevelopment board table. So as people are leaving, they can just put it in there. So that's that also makes um, the point that you know, pick it up and read it and prepare yourself for the, the uh, article mm -hmm. when it comes up. So that's pretty much the master plan. Um, with the zoning articles, did I see you had a copy of the articles? Yes. I have. So too much. Uh, yes. So I can describe that a little bit. So sure. So town meeting members received a substitute article uh, via the yes. town meeting member list, um, and supposedly this is going to be. Um, uh, put in as a substitute uh, motion. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay. Um, a substitute motion, uh, most likely denied. Uh, when, it, when it comes up for our no action vote. On. So on Article Six, oh, okay. the building inspector and, and that whole thing. So um, I would expect. Um, I don't know, Carol. What were you thinking on that? I mean, it, people probably want to hear what why the board decided to go no action on that. I right? think that will. The board will be asked to comment and, uh, briefly on that, and I think it's just important to say what you concluded, which was that this uh, problem is sort of uh, a solution such a problem that there, it, it's already being done through the application process, and the board uh, felt like it was already getting the information it needs on some review and compliance through the EDR process. Are you good with that? Yeah. Okay, good. Great. All right. Yeah, so that should that should be coming up very quickly. So who, who is issuing a substitute? Uh, well, for some reason, the moderator um, distributed a request from Mr. Loretti um, to um, distribute the Substitute. Substitute so to the just, town meeting members. This would read I, Christopher Loretta. No, because he's not a town meeting member. So the list is only the list is only for um, submissions from town meeting members and uh, people on committees and boards. So I questioned the town moderator and said, you know, what is it? this is what it's for. But town moderator decided because he was the proponent of it that he should be able to put it in a substitute motion. At least to the he has found a town meeting member that's going to put it forth. I don't know who that town meeting member is, um, but uh, I've been told that he has found someone to put it forth. So whoever that town meeting member is, we'll put their name there. Okay. So. Okay. I don't understand it, but. Yeah, well, only a town meeting member can. No, I don't understand it. this. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, there is that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Also, it's the exact same wording, is it? I think it's slightly different. It's, okay. I don't, yeah, it reads slightly differently, but not, but it's the not same. substantial. Okay. Right. This is just for the ZB or the ARB. So, any special permit that would go to the ZBA or the ARB? It has to be signed by the inspector of buildings. I assume Mr. Byrne will be there tonight, too. Yes, so I'm sure he will speak, and I'm not sure who will speak, whether the board will be asked to comment first, and I think you just, uh, usually on no comment votes. Or no action. No action, thank you. No action votes, 
the board there, doesn't do a presentation. There isn't. Yeah, well, so, because there cannot be comment unless a substitute is put forward. Right. So in this instance, I think the board would simply wait until someone asks the board for why did you vote no action. Um, you might be asked what, what it would mean to you, So, which I think right. is probably the most practical. Um, right thing to put forth, right? That, right. Uh, certainly, it's a I mean, that's the way I would, would answer it. I think mm -hmm. that the, you're all you're doing is adding a layer on to what's already the action. Mm -hmm. What's already a very collegial process, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, and to support that, I'd like Mr. Byrne, Inspector, to comment, mm -hmm. and he's yeah, going to comment. Think he's prepared. Yeah. So. <laughs> And on Article 7, the bulk of that is uh, the general bylaw changes that, the, that's, that are the Board of Selectmen's bailiwick. But for that one, because it, the board did vote, Andrew, I think the town moderator will turn directly to Andrew right away. And it's simply that this warrant article, this zoning amendment, would create a category of signage that's currently not allowed. It would define it in the zoning bylaw and say that it's not subject to zoning, but that it is governed by town bylaw. It's that simple. I believe it's that simple. And then the bat bulk of this warrant article is really general bylaw. Board of selecting. Yeah, that's quite a bit there. And the type of signage is uh, yard sales, temporary events. There's a third category, but just so that people understand generally what type of signage it. Lost pets as well. Too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Are you going to speak to that, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he'll okay. he'll okay. just give a general description of gotcha. the zoning aspect. Mm -hmm. Right. And the category of sign signage that it the bylaw amendment will recognize and describe. Because right now, that type of sign isn't even contemplated in the bylaw. So it will, and the reason for this, this, you might not need to go into this level of subtlety, but if something's not in the bylaw, generally it's assumed to be prohibited. Mm -hmm. By naming it, creating it, defining it, 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 it doesn't prohibit it. Provides for the allowance of it. Yeah. Yes, and then the regulation will be done by right. a different I, I never, at least I was concluding that it, would, it actually will improve the uh, clutter. I, I think so too, because there's a stated time that it's supposed yeah. to come down. You it's know, recognized. Yes, yeah. yeah. agreed. I think it will. I think it will make people aware of it. Mm -hmm. Take your signs back down. You got to keep them up for a certain amount of time. Yeah. It's definitely not going to be worse. No, it shouldn't be. You couldn't imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So I think that's it. Anything else for this? Yeah. I'll make them. Uh, are we going to, how, how are we doing it? Oh, this is tough without Bruce here. He's usually our uh, that's par right. parliamentarian, right? Um, I think, don't we stay in session as you we do. go over there so that we can take a vote if need be? I posted two agendas. One oh, you for did. the meeting oh, okay, good. and one for town meeting. Perfect. So I, just, I did that last year as well. I just oh, I like it better. So we can meeting. actually adjourn this meeting. Yeah. yeah. By the way, you just remind me of something though. Um, for subsequent nights, if we get through zoning tonight. I'll be there. No matter you'll what. be there because you're a town meeting member. I don't think Andrew or Andy need to be there until Except for the, the master plan work. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we'd be asked to comment on. No, and not this way, but we should get through these tonight. Yeah. So. Okay, just wanted to be sure of that before we put that. I'd like to be there for the uh, master plan. Okay. So oh, yes. just give me a heads up when you think it's going to be there. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll commiserate on it and, yeah, yeah, and roll I mean, the dice. The 4th or the 6th uh, uh, at this point, that's as close as we know, May 4th or May 6th. And Mike and I and John Leone think it's going to be May 6th. I'd say the 6th or the 11th. But you, you'll know better. Yeah. In another kind of I'd say the 6th okay. or the 11th myself. So. Yeah. Because budgets usually what take Vegas a piece to... Yeah, I think the over-under. <laughs> the over-under is 6. The 6th. <laughs> That's right. Um, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Paul, in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay.